All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're making this glitchy VHS style transition. And I am going to be including a link to download it below. So if you don't want to make it yourself, feel free to click on the link. Otherwise, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open up our toolbox, go to video transitions, and then scroll down until you find the fusion transitions. Click on the cross dissolve and bring that between your clips. From there, click on the transition and open it in the fusion page. Once we're there, click on the cross dissolve, shift and space, and then type in TV. Click that one and add it and it should drop it right between the cross dissolve and the media out. Make sure TV is selected. Then we can crank up the scan lines for this, I'm actually going to go a little bit overboard and turn it up to eight. Right click on vertical, modify width, anim curve. Right click on amplitude, modify width, anim curve. And then we can go into the modifier section, double click on vertical, and we need to select ease with the sign ease and sign ease out double click on amplitude and then we're going to select ease sign and sign again and if I just fast forward a little bit I uh, it's your choice whether you want to do the mirror or not uh, the mirror is going to give it a little bit more of a distorted look if you don't mirror then it's going to be a little bit less glitchy and less distorted so I'm going to choose to do it and then what we're going to want to do is crank up the scaling. I'm going to go to around 35 or so right now, and we can always come back and modify this later. Then we have to go back to the tool section. We're going to right click on offset, modify that one with shake. Now we go to noise. We can turn up the power and turn up the size. As you can see, size is basically just how big the pixelated grain is power is both opacity as well as the um, the contrast so you can keep the power pretty high but I find it best to keep around these middle settings for size you don't want to go overboard but you definitely want this to be noticeable right click on random modify that with shake and then we're going to go into the uh, roll bar and if you can see on the bottom, there's going to be a section there once we start increasing the bar strength and the bar size. That's going to start rolling up and down the screen. That's what's going to give us the soul of this transition. So once you get it to a size that you like, right click on bar offset, modify that with the shake as well. And then we're going to go into the modifier section. And from here we can play with the smoothness as well as the maximum. And if I actually just hit play from here, let it run through to learn itself. There we go. So now if I turn up the maximum to let's say four, you're going to see that the bar is going to scroll through the screen. There we go. And then if we increase the smoothness, what you're going to see is that it's going to be more of a fluid motion. Whereas if we turn down the smoothness, it's going to be a jittery jumping mess. So find something you like. Personally, I like it a little more smooth. So it scrolls through nicely, looks like film damage at the beginning or something along those lines. But there we go. That's basically the gist of it. And if you wanted to change anything from here, uh, the scan lines, if we go back to our edit page, so if we play this right now, if you wanna see a little bit more of the actual picture during the transition, I find the best way to do that is to play around with the scan lines here. So if we turn this down to maybe three and just let this play through, then what we're going to see is if we go back here, 
we see a little bit more than we did before. But this is going to be mostly playing around, seeing what you like, modifying all of these settings, the noise, the bar roll, everything here will drastically change how much of the picture you can see during the transition and the intensity. So if you don't like exactly what you see here, play with it and I'm sure you're, you're going to find something that you like. All right, and there we have it. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, if you wanted to download this and not worry about making it yourself, then just follow the link below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.